before we get started on today's video, I'd like for you to give this video a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. And feel free to leave a comment on any future videos you'd like to see from me. Hi! Today I am going to share with you five things that inspire me to get started with art. So I guess this will be finding inspiration for your art in 2021. I think that's what I'm going to title this. However, this is just what works for me and kind of what I do to spark my love for illustrating. And um, hopefully you can use some of these tips if you don't already use them. So, uh, so yeah. The first thing I do want to say is inspiration is different from motivation. Um, I know that sometimes they can be, they, you can, you can use them in tandem, but they are different. And, um, I think inspiration is more, you know, the spark that you get and like, just kind of the, the little burst of energy or creative spark you get to want to start something. And I think, you know, that's what differentiates it from motivation. Whereas motivation, I think works more, you're working more towards goals. So you're motivated by something or someone and you meet certain goals and it motivates you to keep meeting new goals. So that's what I think is the difference between inspiration and motivation. Comment down below if you think differently. Um, or maybe how you view inspiration and motivation, but um, for me, they are different. Um, so yeah. Okay, so again, these are things that inspire me, um, but I hope that maybe they can spark a little something in you, and maybe you could use them if you, like I said, if you don't use them already. Number one, watching movies or watching shows um, that you really enjoy. And I know a lot of people say this, oh, watch movies and shows and that, that you love and that inspire you, um, or listen to music that inspires you. So I think all these three things are true and I do this and it just depends on the mood that I'm in, but I do watch a lot of movies and, um, and a lot of shows uh, and they all inspire me in different ways. It's weird because sometimes I'll watch, like I love watching a lot of sitcoms like The Nanny, Boy Meets World, so on and so forth, Seinfeld and whatnot. But I also really enjoy watching me some anime. So it's really weird. Like I know sitcoms and anime like completely different beast, right? Um, the humor is completely different. Obviously one is animated and one is live action or like one's real, you know, real people. But um, but yeah, I, I watch different things for different reasons. And when I'm feeling a certain way, um, and movies are no different. So I will literally rewatch like older movies, um, like back, back from like the eighties or nineties or whatever. Um, or like even early two thousands, like Sam Raimi, Spider-Man, get out of here. I love Sam Raimi, Spider-Man. Um, I love part one and two. Um, anyways, um, but yeah, so I think listening, you know, listening to music is no different. I also listen to music and again, it depends on my mood. Um, and depends kind of like what I'm in the mood for. If I'm in the mood for like bouncy, colorful, you know, peppy art, I'm going to listen to maybe some Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay, wait, I know some people are like, wait, you can listen to Taylor Swift. See, Taylor Swift can have some like poppy, bouncy stuff. I also listen to like a lot of J-pop and K-pop, of course. I think like that's no surprise to anybody, but yeah. And, and you know, sometimes when I'm feeling like more dramatic and maybe more somber, I listen to like the Targaryen music from freaking Game of Thrones. Cause hello, the Targaryen soundtrack is like, ah, oh, beautiful. Anyways, so that's my number one. My number two, well, that's weird. <laughs> Anyways, okay, sorry, I'm just being immature. Number two. Reading comics or manga by your favorite artist. And this is something I do all the time. So for me, I read a lot of manga. I don't read a lot of comic books. Um, I, and I never really have. I've always been a manga reader. Um, but I do really enjoy 
uh, or you know back then I I haven't I haven't I honestly I, I don't even know if it's still if it's still being created to be honest with you I read these a long time ago um, when they were you know like first coming out but the new 52 series Batman I don't, did anybody read that Batman the new 52 series um, and illustrated by Greg Capullo absolutely love 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 the illustrations for that uh, comic and that that one I actually did read uh, probably like my one and only western comic that i absolutely love um and it's just because the freaking artwork is phenomenal <laughs> um but yeah i love me batman i do love batman i love spawn too but i've never read any of the spawn comics and i do want to get into it um i i would love to just like sit down and read spawn honestly i would um but for me uh right now i i read a lot of manga so that's kind of what I grew up with. Not kind of, it is. It's what I grew up with. It's what I've, I've, I started reading as a child. Um, and I, you know, just kind of continued it in my adult, in my adult times. There, there was like a point in my life where I did, I didn't read manga, but then I got back into it. Um, so, so yeah, so I read manga and that kind of is like what inspires me. Um, I like to like read it and then like look at all the pretty pictures and like study it. Um, anyways, so that is my, my second, <laughs> I'm trying, sorry. <laughs> I'm just kind of being, today's just like an immature, today's like immature Tuesday, immature little strawberry. Okay. Number three, look up all kinds of photographs and take a deep dive into history. History is so rich, y'all. Like, so rich. And I know y'all know this. Um, and you can find so much inspiration from it. I, at least I do. Uh, and I, I think I think you can too. And I'm sure you have. Um, and yeah, just like dive into whatever era you love. I mean, whatever. I mean, if you like Egyptian, uh, Egyptian history is your thing like dive into it and look at all of like their artifacts and you know their hieroglyphics and you know really just i guess like what is it immerse yourself into that 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 time and and yeah you you will find that there's a lot to be inspired uh, inspired of like there's just so so much in history and, and you can go to any really any time that you really truly love and if you don't if you're not like a huge history person i'm not i'll be honest i'm not um i think i, I kind of like pick and choose whatever history i kind of want to learn at the time so it just depends on what i'm interested in but there's really so much that you can learn from it and i think that that's what inspires really good stories so yeah go to an era that you really like if you like the medieval times the most if you like egyptian i mean whatever just whatever um or even like space um i, I know that that's i guess kind of history because i know that we've been like studying space for a long time but um but i know it's also like the future it's weird <laughs> so so yeah like if, if whatever inspires you space history like i i would i would really dive into um and like do research I mean just like read about it and you will find a lot of like what is it like a lot of gems you know in in those places so that that's another thing I, I sometimes do like I will just take a deep dive in history like I, like randomly on my phone I'll just be like oh you know back in 1875 like what happened and then like a random place in the world I'll just pick like and then it'll just like tell like you know i'll just like go back and oh and i'll just read whatever i find but anyways i do i do um recommend that okay number four go for a nice long walk and enjoy nature that's what i put so i do enjoy uh nature walks um um mm, okay i was about to say something but i'm really weird about sharing too much here on the internet <laughs> i don't know why it's not like i have a lot of viewers but i don't know it's weird I, I i will say i just enjoy nature walks um and nature and you know just being being out you know outside and breathing in all the different all the different like smells and 
seeing all the beautiful trees and the sky and the clouds and just taking in how small I am compared to this world. Like I'm just so tiny. I'm like this little bitty, bitty, bitty speck. It makes me feel so tiny and it makes things so much bigger. And I think it's just, I love going, that's why I love going on nature walks because I get to see like everything and I get to really appreciate everything around me, like the birds and the squirrels and just like, just wildlife in general, even down to like the bittiest like spider or cricket. It's weird how we're all on this earth and how we, like how our ecosystem just works for all of us you know what i mean like it's just crazy i don't know anyways i, I don't want to get like super deep into this but um it's very inspiring it's beautiful so i do love going on walks i haven't i haven't been on a walk in a really long time um it used to be more like part of our daily thing um that my husband and i would do we would we would go on a run um and we haven't done that in a while. Uh, and I think it's because like the times are changing, like the seasons, you know, it's getting a little bit chillier outside. Um, and you know, we just haven't, haven't really done that. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah. Um, going for a nice long walk in nature, uh, or doing anything outside. Like, and if you don't like being outside, you know, like walking outside, maybe just go for a drive too. a drive out, you know, just like, like, you know, just, like, I mean, obviously when you're driving, you have to pay, I mean, even when you're walking outside, you have to pay paying attention, like your surroundings, obviously, because danger is everywhere. But, um, I say it more for driving because you have to be careful. Um, but I mean, even going for like a, a long drive and just like, either like driving out to the country or driving out, you know, somewhere, um, could really be inspiring and could like really just like you just detaching yourself from electronics and like from staring at a screen or, you know, staring at your phone or, um, just being inside your house, like going on a drive could be really, uh, beneficial to your, um, to your mental health and like just being outside and like having, having the sun hit your face, you know, or even if it's nighttime, I mean, it doesn't matter. I just think like being outside and like seeing outside stuff can, be beneficial to your health overall so if you don't like going on walks maybe um, opt for going on a long drive if that is something you can do all right and my fifth and last I guess not tip but like the last thing I do and it's not really anything to find inspiration um, but here goes number five at the end of the day you just need to do it. <laughs> I read, I read, I, I watched, I watched a video by Laura Price, uh, or Lulu Sketches. And for those of you who know who she is, if not, look her up. She's awesome. Uh, and I saw this one video and she was like, you just need to do it. You just need to start. <laughs> so yeah, I do agree with her. I, I, it just draw every day, even if you don't feel like it sketch figures, backgrounds, animals, or whatever else you're in the mood for. Um, you know, when all else fails, you can, you can see or look up a photograph and try to replicate it in your style. Um, that's like the, the best thing, you know, I could say, uh, it's really worked for me because sometimes we're not in the mood to do something, but we need to do it. Right. And you have to treat art that way. And you just, you just got to do it. You just got to push yourself to do it. Um, if you don't force yourself and you don't discipline yourself to do it, then you're never going to, you're never going to, to grow from that. You, you got, you just, you just got to do it. Kind of like you just got to do your homework. You got to go to work. You got to, you know, you got to do stuff, right? You got to take a shower. You got to brush your teeth. Like if not, what are the repercussions, right? And so with art, what are the repercussions? I mean, yeah, you're not going to get cavities if you don't draw, but you're not going to get better. And so if that is your goal and that is what you want, then you have to make it a habit to do it every single day, even if it's just 15, 20 minutes a day. I know 
that people out there say, oh, you need to be drawing for like eight hours a day. And although, yes, I do agree that the more you do something, the better you will get at it. Um, but sometimes it is just not feasible and it's it's not realistic to sit there for eight hours and just draw I mean, I wish we could all do that. I wish I could do that um, But sometimes it, that's not that doesn't happen, you know for me on a good day I could draw for eight hours um, But then what 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 happens? Maybe my house doesn't get cleaned the dishes don't get washed, you know, like there are responsibilities that We all have and so like for in my case there are days here and there um, that I could sit down and draw for a long time. Um, but you know, you know, the days that I'm busy, I maybe get maybe like 30 minutes to an hour to draw. And I know that that's a long time for some people. Like some people might be like, well, I work 16 hour, you know, shifts at the hospital or I work, you know, 16 hour days wherever. And like, I may get like five minutes, but yeah, like, like been there, done that. I, I've been, I've been in, in situations where, yeah, I used to work like a freaking dog and, um, yeah, I, I drew whenever I could and I practiced whenever I could, like on breaks or on my lunch break, I would literally go out to my car and like just draw. Um, so, so yeah, and it would only be like maybe 10, 15 minutes because, you know, I had to eat for like, like eating took me like 10, 15 minutes and then I had like 10, 15 minutes to spare. Um, so, so yeah, so you just, you just got to do it. Even if you don't want to just freaking do it. Like if all else fails, take out your sketchbook, grab a comic or a manga, open it up to a random page and just draw what you see. I know that a lot of people are like, well, that's not good. It's still you applying your skills onto something. Right. And if, if that, you know, if you're just like, gosh, I really don't want to do realism today or gosh, I really don't want to do this today then just draw something you love. Like just draw a cartoon then. Like if you're like, I really want to draw SpongeBob, then just draw SpongeBob. I hate SpongeBob, but, but my point, you just, you draw what you love, you know? And I don't know. That's, that's like, I guess like the biggest tip. And I think the most important is if you want to be successful in anything, you just got to do it. You got to put in the time. All right. Well, I think this video got long enough. I didn't want it to be this long, but oh well. Um, hopefully these little, I guess not tips, but like, hopefully I guess the things I spoke about here, um, have inspired you <laughs> to get started on something you love. And I know like my, my channel is more of an art channel, so I want to keep it more art related. Um, but really at the end of the day, even if art is not really your thing, but you're watching my videos, um, I mean, you can apply this to really anything that you do. Um, instead of, you know, drawing every day, maybe you're trying to get better at something else. Maybe you're trying to get better at woodworking, or maybe you're trying to get better at fixing cars, uh, or, you know, whatever. It could be something random, but just like anything, you have to apply yourself and you have to discipline yourself and you have to do it every day in order to get better, right? Um, this is why, uh, you know, nurses with 30 years of experience are amazing nurses because they have done it for a really long time that and i'm hoping that they also really like what they do and they enjoy their job um and they're just you know they're they're seasoned and so we're we're on a journey to seasoning ourselves um in in the things that we love all right well i hope this video finds you well and i hope you have a great rest of your week i know we're going into a holiday week um so uh, so yeah, in, enjoy your holiday week with your families, if that is what you're doing. Um, you know, if, if that is, if you're, if you celebrate anything this week, <laughs> I know it's kind of like, it's kind of weird now. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know really, I don't really know how I feel about this week's holiday. I'm not even going to say it cause I'm just like, eh, I don't really care. I think the older I've gotten, I'm kind of like, I don't really care for holidays. I mean, I, I think they're kind of BS, but anyways. I mean, no, I mean, I don't mean that disrespectfully. I just, I'm just kind of like, yeah, one day a year that we all get together. You know, I'm just like, if you really, really wanted to be <laughs> close to your family, you would make the effort every day or at any time of the year, right? Like, why does it have to be this time of year? Anyway, I'm not trying to be crabby or a Scrooge or anything. I'm just, <laughs> anyways, y'all, this got way too long. All right. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy your holiday week, stay safe if you're going out of town, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.